Hey guys, D Cell back in the Nerd Cave with a quick unboxing video for you today. Uh, my Severin Sale um, package finally came in the mail. And I did an unboxing video about five minutes ago, and um, I didn't like it. So I'm going to do another one. So it's unboxing part two. The unboxed, I guess. Um, but here, here was the box that I had opened. And there may be some, oh, there's a couple peanuts left. So I'm just going to show you what I did. Um, it's about 8 in the morning, and um, I'm pretty tired. Woke up a little early on a Saturday. This box has been sitting around for a couple days, so I had to crack it open. And uh, yeah, let's jump right back into it. First up, some pretty cool stickers. Severn, Intervision. Very nice. Listen, these little stickers go a long way. I really appreciate when they throw stickers in there. I don't know why. Throw them around sometimes. Do appreciate the stickers. Severin, thank you for the stickers. Okay, let's get into it again. Next, uh, first one up is an Intervision title. Don't know too much about this. A lot of these are blind buys, of course, and it's beyond the seventh door. I've picked up some Intervision titles before during the sale. I like to at least get one. Now, I don't know if it's just me not being able to navigate the, the website, maybe because I was using my phone. I don't know if you remember, there were some issues with um, the website. I think they extended the sale a day because no one could get on that first night. Listen, Severn, we appreciate you. We, you do some great releases. Get your act together with the website, please. It's very frustrating. I think you had some sort of DDoS attack last year, this year. I don't know what the, what the issue was. But anyway... Uh, we still do appreciate you. We still still do appreciate all the these new restorations, and there can't be enough of these boutique labels. But still, website man, come on. Beyond the seventh door is a little bit about the film. The infamous '80s Canadian thriller, now on DVD for the first time ever. Here are the special features. A good amount of special features for a DVD. A treasure hunting puzzle filled extravaganza. A strangely mesmerizing thriller. Yeah, pretty cool. Interested in this. Glad to pick it up. A couple bucks. Next one up is another blind buy, of course. I'm going to use the help of one of our peanuts here because there's a little bit of nudity. And it's, you know, it's, it's art. I would argue that it's art because it's drawn. Not a picture. But for our young viewers out there, if we do have any, um, I would like to cover this. Hopefully there aren't too many. <laughs> but sometimes the kids like to watch my videos, so I have to be careful. And here we go. Massacre in Dinosaur Valley. Again, know nothing about this. But I had to get it based on the description and the trailer. This movie is a blast. The video graveyard. Well, hey, listen, that's all I need to know. So when I was opening this, um, I did it during the last video. I did a rookie mistake. I used this knife to cut. I don't know if you see on the knife, it's kind of hard to see. There we go. I'm learning tricks. See how it's kind of dented in the front? Did a little bit of a, did a little thing here. Can you see it? I guess you can't see it now. Well, it doesn't matter. Tiniest, the tiniest of a scratch. There we go. You can sort of see it. There you go. The tiniest of a scratch in the inside. Listen. These slip, these slip covers be the death of me, I tell you. And here's the front cover. Massacre in Dinosaur Valley again. Um, pretty big crocodile there. A lot, lot going on in this. There's a vulture. There's a crocodile, a couple of crocodiles, maybe alligators. I don't know. Don't know the difference. Something with the front of their face, maybe, I think. Here's a severed head on a spike. Um, the same um, lady uh, from the front, I believe, only she's a little more covered up. And uh, some guy uh, on a tree. You know what I don't see? Dinosaurs. Interesting. Maybe there's actually no dinosaurs. Maybe this is just, it's just called Dinosaur Valley. 
There's no dinosaurs. I'm, that's probably what it is, because now that I think about it, I don't think I actually saw dinosaurs on the, in the trailer, but who knows. A highly recommended recommended gem by the Sex Gore Mutants. Pretty damn entertaining, possibly even brilliant. Blu-ray.com. Uncut and remastered in 4K for the first time ever in America. Here's the description, guys. Special features. Can you believe this is actually... I'm doing a little better than last time, my last video. Honestly. Here's, here's the disc. I'm not going to do anything. I don't think there's any... Fine. I'll do it. I don't... This is like old school, and Severance still does this. I don't know. Is, is this maybe an older release? I... Okay. I think I only see this with Severance, to be honest with you. Come on. There we go. Okay, yeah, nothing. It's got the black case, as, as typical of your seven releases. Oh, is there no... Well, let me check the other side first. Okay, and here's the other side, which was pretty much the back of the slip. A couple more images here. That you didn't have before. Masculine Dance. Yeah, listen... I, I guarantee that's right. There's no actual dinosaurs here. I was hoping for a dinosaur movie. Because that's all you really want. You want a dinosaur movie. Who doesn't love dinosaur movies? As a kid, you love dinosaur movies. As an adult, you watch the R-rated version of Tammy the T-Rex, and you love it. Okay. These, these slips are a little tight. Okay. Next up. Excited to get this. This is something that, in hindsight, I'm glad I picked up during the sale because of some recent news. And it's Cruel Jaws, as you know. Oh, wait, but not just one. Bing! Two. Okay, now this is Jimmy's. The brother-in-law will get his, unless maybe it got lost in the mail somewhere and ended up in eBay. Would never do that. Would never. Anyway, Cruel Jaws, guys. If you picked up the initial release of this last year you probably got the nice shiny jaws 5 slip cover i mean it's just so blatant <laughs> but um yeah surprised this lasted as long as it did i think universal kind of jumped in and did some legal maneuvers and and got this pulled from what i understand um and i don't understand too much but here's the description incredible the troll 2 of killer shark movies that is fantastic Bruno Mattei's shark exploitation draw dropper, plus his extra violent Japanese cut. Awe inspiring. The Avengers of Jaws knockoffs. Wow. So, yeah, I think the issue here is there's a lot of scenes like just ripped from Jaws and other movies, other, other shark movies. And having a release like this was kind of surprising. And good for Severn for, for, for taking the shot. Listen, a solid year plus with this. Here's the special features. That's not a bad thing. But, like I said, glad to pick up even, even the font, man. You gotta love it. You really do. Cruel Jaws. Man, I kind of wish I got that toilet seat thing they, they sold and all that stuff. All that cool stuff they did. Anyway, one last one, guys. Again, you know, I didn't get too much. This was right after the Vinegar Syndrome sale. And I went crazy on that, like I normally do. So... I only just picked up a few things. And this is a new 4K7 release, something I had to pick up. And it's Andy Warhol Presents Blood for Dracula, a film by Paul Morrissey. Very nice packaging. Severin's doing a great job with these releases. <clears throat> Here's a description. One of the best vampire movies of all time, Esquire. Okay. All right, Esquire. Very interesting. So here we go. And here are the special features. Disc 1 has a UHD, just the movie. The Blu-ray has the special feature with nearly four hours of special features with cast, crew, and more. And Disc 3 is your CD soundtrack. So if you still have a shelf system, guys, if you know what a shelf system is, then pop that in there and check it out. <clears throat> so again, I, I already opened this. And there was plastic on it, but this is take two, remember? I still can't get it out. Okay, so Blood for Dracula, I remember as a kid, 
and I didn't tell the, well, I did tell the story already. Uh, local video store. Where's my little thing here? There we go. While I'm talking, can this, can we scroll down? There we go. So my video store had blood for Dracula. Um, God, I miss the video stores, right? I went to the back, right to the horror. They had a big box VHS edition of Blood for Dracula. And I went through all their movies at that point, And I was like, I got to get it. The one thing I'm, I'm upset about this is that they don't have any kind of artwork inside to show you the big box VHS cover art. And I know there's a lot, there was a lot of art for this movie, but this is what I'm talking about, guys. Going a little low tech here. As we do. There we go. This was the big box cover art. This is what kind of drew me in as a kid totally awesome kind of wish and it was just called dracula i think yep anyway guys that was that uh kind of wish that was in here somewhere it's not but the cool thing was as a 12 year old renting that i noticed when i was getting it that it was rated x now just one x not three those the ones with the three x's were behind the the door with you know and i think there was like a sheet Probably a very gross sheet they had to walk through to get to that room. Fortunately, that store closed before I was old enough to go through that sheet. Anyway, um, it was rated X. And I was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm renting something rated X. Speaking of rated X, whoop. Some more artwork, pretty cool. Blood for Dracula. Blood for Dracula. Um, I could just keep saying the name of the title. Anyway, I brought it home, watched it. As you know, the, the single X rated is kind of like an older rating from like the 70s. This is a 1974 film. And that really kind of just, it's not really what you think, clearly. It, it's more of a, like a, a very rated R kind of, you know, maybe, maybe NC-17. I think X turned into the NC-17 rating later on. But as a 12-year-old, hey, listen... It was, uh, it was exciting. Again, here is the, um, here are the special features, a little, in, in a little more detail, if you can see that. There we go. Pretty good. You can pause that if you would like. Plus the CD soundtrack. Speaking of the CD soundtrack, I believe here are the, the tracks. And I guess here is an international poster. And here's inside, you have the three discs, you have the UHD 4K disc, your Blu-ray edition, and your compact disc digital audio. Very cool. I like that they throw that in there. Do I ever actually throw it in and listen to it? No. Can I? Sure. I've got a shelf system somewhere back here. I would love to utilize... Here we go, guys. So here are... Let's be cool. Let's Let's be cool here. Can we do this? There it is. Okay. All right. Well, here you go, guys. Here are my Severin Sale pickups. Please let me know in the description below. What did you pick up? I always say description. Let me know in the comments below what you guys picked up. Did you pick up a lot during the sale? Are you still waiting on it? I think I was the last one. Did you pick up Cruel Jaws? Let me know. Until next time, see you guys in the Nerd Cave.